Hello and welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to look at how to install the Warhammer 40k Dawn of War Soulstorm Unification mod, as well as the other mods that they recommend to go along with it. Now, this mod essentially is a combination of all of the mods that have been made for Dawn of War Soulstorm over the last 10 years. It's a collaboration project with over 100 people that's got like custom voice acting, custom models, new units. This is like a whole expansion, a whole uh, remaster for the Dawn of War Soulstorm series. And I thought with Space Marine 2 just dropping, what's a better time than now to really go back and look at some of the best Warhammer 40k games we've had over history? We're going to get this thing installed. You're going to need a fresh version of Dawn of War Soulstorm. I'm downloading mine through Steam. You can technically use one of the old DVD copies if you still have that lying around somewhere. Although to my understanding, uh, some aspects of the campaign add-on might not exactly work as intended if you're using the DVD. So best to use the Steam version if you have it. Here we are on the Dawn of War Unification mod page on moddb.com. If we scroll down, we'll find the four downloads that we want are these four ones at the top. So essentially you click on each of those and then you click the big red download button on each one of these pages and you want to download them all into the same folder. Once you've downloaded all of the mods and put them in the same folder as I have here, you want to right click on unification version 7.2.5 and then click run as administrator. Then you tap I agree. You can turn off the music there as well if you don't want to hear it. Here you need to find essentially where you've got your Dawn of War Soulstorm copy installed. Oops, not there for me. It's in my E drive under games. I believe we go to Steam apps. We go to common and then we're going to find Dawn of War. There it is, Soulstorm. So as long as it looks like that, you'll be able to tap next. Um, I'm not actually going to install this one because we're actually going to install this one in the next mod we install as well. So we're just going to install the unification mod itself. Now you do need a fair bit of room, so make sure you've got enough there before you start the installation. And then you're going to have to leave it for about 5-10 minutes depending on your computer. Okie dokie, once that's all done, you can just press the close button there. The first part of the mod installation is all sorted. For the next step, we're going to install the campaign add-on. To do this, we need to drag this file into our Soulstorm files. So essentially, we're going to go to Steam, we're going to right click, manage, and then go to browse local files. What we want to do from here essentially is we just want to drag this exe into the folder. Once we've done that, we can just double left click and run it. Or you might need to right click and run as administrator if you don't have that by default, as we did with the previous install. It's then going to verify your installer. And then we just go ahead and we do the same thing we did previously. So once again, we're going to navigate to the location of where we've got our copy of Dawn of War installed. And that's all done. Finally, we're going to open up Unification Unlimited. You might need to download WinZip or some other extraction for, uh, service if you haven't already got one. And then just drag the contents of this essentially into the Dawn of War Soulstorm folder. And then once again, you're just going to want to go ahead and just run it. You can see here it's also come onto the wrong location. So we're actually going to need to go in here, make sure that we choose the right spot as well. And we're all done. All right, to actually run the mods, we want to go to the Dawn of War Soulstorm folder and essentially open up the Dawn of War mod manager. In here, you can see we've got a bunch of different options, essentially all the different mods that we've already installed. Now, what you want to do here essentially is press the big toggle LAA button, and then you also want to press the UNI underscore EXT dot DLL. Essentially, what we're going to do to play the mod that we want to do is we are just going to select on the mod and then tap start mod. Make sure to like the video as I had a pretty hard time installing this when I was first looking into it. So getting the video out there for other people just like me, just like you, people that you know need to learn how to do this, it's really helpful. So make sure to give it a like so the video gets around. So the unification mod also has some configurers. So essentially inside the unification and unification campaign, you've got a configurer for each of them. So essentially there's just a bunch of different settings in here that you can go through and you can set up. Uh, you know, just tailor it to how you like it and same goes as well for the unification mod. So just in here and you can do the same there essentially look through them in your own time to see how they all work. 
and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this, guys, tutorials, gameplay for various other games as well, mods, I'm all about it, so hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.